the birth of hmm. quantum mechanics around the year 1900 took uh, people uh, uh, a lot of uh, you know convincing because most people didn't accept that oh yeah, yeah somehow you you have managed to fit something but it doesn't do anything for anything else it doesn't explain uh, you know many other things but uh, what's kind of but interesting is there were many uh, there were a couple of other experimental observations one was the black body it's, that it's if you kind take, of like yeah, uh, right? it's kind of like what we do in machine learning today just try to fit the parameters in the math equation <laughs> to fit the reality you know right you're like <laughs> I, i i have a model and if i if i if i can uh, uh, if my model fits the experiment or rather fits the data then then that is the, that's the science and i think there was a very famous uh, uh um statement that if you uh, if you observe a horse is running at say you know one fifth the speed of light but the horse is not light you know i mean it's, the horse <laughs> is a horse it, it doesn't become your model of light you know so so i think we have to be a little careful about that it's right? so, uh right right so most of these uh, developments had hundreds of years of experimental evidence incontrovertible mm-hmm. evidence that were behind them which i feel in general most uh, people who have a you know not necessarily a direct uh, who don't work in this area but do have an interest don't get exposed to that part of it which uh, mm-hmm. which which sort of is important that these things didn't come out of nowhere and yeah, mm-hmm. blank and einstein used uh, decades and centuries of experimental evidence to synthesize and and bring a new understanding